Hey, Captain, it's time to roll. Yeah, it is time to roll, isn't it? <laughs> well, we're going to be heading back to Hopi Reservation. We've been invited back to uh, have further conversation with Brother Bear. And uh, this is quite an honor. I know uh, we've been on a mission since uh, April, and it seems like everywhere we went, we ran right into Native American tribes. The first one was the Cree up in Idaho, wasn't it, JP? Yeah. Idaho. And we, we went to a uh, powwow there. And that was great, you know. And that was the first tribe that we went to. And, you know, everywhere we've gone after that, it's been one tribe after another. And, you know, we're just, we're just following the path that's ahead of us. And it just keeps running into Native Americans. And, uh... You know, we talk to them about the things that are going on right now, like the animal deaths and, and you know, uh, the changes in the earth that are going on right now. And, and, you know, they understand that it's all real. And, and you know, most of them have the same message as the Hopi Indians um, to mankind. And, and that's a pretty simple message. Um, that message is, we just all, we're in a time right now where we need to get along. We all need to learn to stop arguing and, and stop, you know, pointing fingers at people. We need to work together. And, you know, whether whether it's to, to find out what's up in the sky, find out what's killing animals, or whether it's to find out what your neighbor's like. You know, just we need to work together and, and we gotta stop the bickering. Um, but we're going back to the Hopis because we know that they still have uh, tablets that Jesus gave them. And we also have information about the second prophecy rock. And it talks about a satellite that uh, communicates with all of mankind around the world in every language. Now we also met a Navajo Indian. And he welcomed us into his family and he asked us to come back. Um, he stumbled upon a cave on his property, and uh, after investigating the caves, he found some petroglyphs on the walls, and um, then he said for the following week after that, that he'd been, well, visited by Bigfoots, and, uh, and he called me on the phone and asked me if I would come back and, and help to investigate that, so you know, right now, we're on a a pretty uh, a pretty crazy path but first you know we need to I'm not hunting Bigfoots but you know this guy welcomed me into his home told me a lot of things taught me a lot of things we shared a lot of stories and he's crying out for my help and you know what I, I, I'd like to go there you know uh, this journey that my crew and I are on uh, has just been things like that you know from ferries down in Illinois to uh, a hundred UFOs in Montana uh, and you know and now Bigfoot and and the Hopi Indians well you know I think we're ready for the Hopi Indians we're ready to to sit down and talk to them and understand them and and you know I know one thing Molly agrees and, and and one thing's for sure uh, they know that that the trick is it, it's all in love it's in how you treat your brother and it's not about religion <laughs> Right. It's not about religion. It's about a way of life. It's living a holy life. It's it's getting up in the morning and finding someone to hug right away and to shake their hand and to greet them good morning and, and to send out good vibrations so that, you know, you don't start your day uh, sending out bad vibrations. Um, but today's the day we got to pack it up and move. You're right. It's time to roll. So we're packing things up and uh, we're going to head on out. And I know they just had a big snowstorm in Flagstaff. I hope they got all that cleaned up uh, by the time we get there. But hopefully things will be a nice, real smooth pass for us. And uh, when we get there, we'll have videos. So 
you know, I, I'm looking forward to a conversation with Brother Bear of the of the Bear Clan up there, and Brother Edgar of the Roadrunner Clan, and and you know that's that's where we got some of these gifts that we're we're showing you right now that we can show you. It was a it was a prayer stick, Paul. If you want to pan over there and show them the prayer stick, and the uh, what was that? A, a what kind of kachina doll? doll? Remember the name of it? Co Coco Pele. The Coco Pele doll, yeah, doll of fertility, and of course our, our gemstones and our uh, and our uh, sage that we burn during our prayer ceremonies, and uh, you know we just thank all the brothers in in you know our native <laughs> lands and on the reservations, and you know I, I want to talk a little bit more about that along the way, and I will, because there's there's a lot of things that need to be said there, and uh, you know a lot of it involves water, and a lot of it involves. <laughs> and, and Molly wants to say a few things about it too. So, uh, you know, stick with us, stay tuned, because it's only going to get better from here. And, and I have a lot of things to investigate and a lot of things to report. And uh, you know what? Let's just stay away from the Judge Judy channels on the internet today because those are just va bad vibrations and, and we need to, and we need to just stay in a better resonant value than that so thanks for watching peace and love to you all from all of us and uh you know just pray for everybody be kind to everybody give somebody a handshake or a love hug or a smile it goes a long way peace out